Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET. Today we're going to take a look at the Affinia H-Series H479 3D printer. So of the three 3D printers I've reviewed so far, this one is my favorite. It's not necessarily perfect, but it's fast, it's easy to use, and overall it's generally more reliable than the others I've tested. So the H479 sells for about $1,600. It's still probably in the hobbyist category. It's not quite as powerful as some other printers out there, but it is still expensive. So you really have to kind of be committed to the idea of experimenting with 3D printing in order to buy this thing. Now, like most other 3D printers, it uses what's called ABS plastic. That's a kind of material here. It's a plastic filament, runs down through a heated extruder head here, and it deposits material down to this build platform and forms it up into a model that you send to it from either a Windows PC or a Mac. Now, if you look closely, you might see some parts in this printer that look a little janky. The cover here, there's a plastic clip on the back, and the support arm for the spool of filament are all made from 3D printed plastic. Now, they might look a little cheap, but there's no problems with functionality. Now, the printer ships with ABS plastic, which is a kind of material used for 3D printing, and also can support PLA, as well as some experimental stuff if you're willing to try it. Now, Affinia suggests you don't use spools from other vendors, but we had no problem testing spools from MakerBot, as well as a couple other places. Now, you see the build platform isn't all that big compared to some other 3D printers, like, say, MakerBot's Replicator. This one lets you print models about 5 inches cubed, which is a decent size, but there probably will be some things you'll find that just won't fit on the platform. Now you might also notice the binder clips on this platform, which seem kind of cheap, we agree, but they also kind of hold the secret to this printer and why we like it so much. So if you take the binder clips off, we can then lift off this plate, which is called a perf board. Now the idea behind the perf board is that it makes it much easier for prints to actually stick to the build platform when it's printing. With the perf board, it's not a perfect solution. You still have to do some post-processing in order to really get a good print. But with it, you have no doubt that your print is going to stick to the platform and stay in place while it's printing. They come out a little bumpy due to the perf board because there's holes here, and then when you print, the plastic kind of sticks down in there. So you really have to kind of work to dislodge the object and then clean it up after you take it off the platform. Now, I have a few objects here you can see look a little rough, but they all more or less look as intended also. They're accurately printed, and they work and kind of move as I expected them to. What's also nice is that Affinia gives you the tools you need to pry it off the platform and give it a rough cleanup. You can still do some more finishing to really get it looking nice. Now lastly, I'll talk about Affinia software, which strikes a nice balance between ease of use and deep configurability. It's not quite as granular as some of the really deep settings you get on certain printers, but overall it gives you nice control over objects in terms of their quality, the amount of material you want to use on the inside, but in general it lets you use a printer with a good degree of control over the output, but without giving you sort of the depth and craziness of engineering level software. So the H479 is not as powerful as some other printers out there that cost two and three thousand dollars. It only prints one color, it has a relatively small build platform, but overall it's easy to use and it's fast. You have to give your objects a little bit of TLC after they print, but overall they look as intended. Now this is still expensive enough that you really have to want to be involved in 3D printing to buy this thing, but it strikes a nice balance between usability and output quality that it's really easy to recommend. So I'm Rich Brown, this is the Affinia H-Series H479.